Hello everyone, today I'm going to tell you how to make a DIY version of uh, your power bank. What is DIY? Well, DIY means do it yourself. So you're going to do it yourself, but I'm going to warn you here, if you don't know how to solder or how to handle batteries or any electrical knowledge, then you shouldn't do it. Although the uh, things I'm going to show you should help and you should be able to do it yourself. So let's get started. The first main thing for a power bank is a good source of batteries. Well, this is an 18650 battery that I salvaged from uh, a laptop battery, which I'm gonna show you, but uh, you need a lot of these batteries. I salvaged the 18650s from a laptop batteries, something like this. Uh, they come in all shapes and sizes, but this should give you the idea. You could get them pretty easily or you might have one or two laying around so uh, you're gonna extract batteries and you're gonna end up getting some batteries like these well okay now you extracted some batteries where what you're gonna do next you're not gonna solder first you're gonna check the voltages and after checking the voltages uh, for example if they are above 3 volts or 2.5 volts you can charge them up and put them at the same level but don't assemble them yet what you want to do is uh, you want to check the capacities of your uh, batteries why is that necessary well uh, you're going to connect the batteries in a parallel combination parallel combination means you connect the positive of the battery to the other positive of the battery and so on uh, if you're connecting 10 batteries or uh, 8 batteries or something like that so you want to make sure they're at the same voltage level as well as they have the same capacity if they don't have same capacity for example there is a 2000 milliamp hour battery and a 1000 milliamp hour battery the 1000 milliamp hour battery will deplete first and if that depletes first means it'll uh, take uh, charge from the other battery and in, in result it'll, it'll create a disaster what you want to do is you capacity check these batteries using uh, something like this this is basically a, a battery tester it is a charger as well uh, this is from a Lido color uh, you can get uh, from Opus and other manufacturers as well so I've been using uh, this for quite some time like for some years and ha haven't had any problem with that so you capacity check your batteries using any charger after you capacity check your batteries uh, you should get uh, something like these like uh, you should write the capacity on them uh, with a marker or a pen or something whatever suits you and w if they match like for example if it's the bat if the batteries are like in the range of uh, 100 million powers up and down then it shouldn't be a problem like a 1500 million power battery should work with 1400 and 1600 without any problem whatsoever and you assemble them and you solder them in parallel combination although soldering is not recommended at all what you should do is uh, do spot welding but we don't have a spot welder at home so we go for soldering so we solder these batteries in parallel combination like the positives to the positive and the negatives to the negatives so after soldering you get something like this although this is a pretty bad uh, soldering job done uh, i did it myself uh, i didn't know that at the time it is done pretty old so this is the back side and this is the front side uh, you should be you should end up something like this although yours one might look cleaner after you've done soldering you should get a circuit board a power bank circuit board something like this or this or whatever is available for you depending upon your requirement uh, both of these are uh, fast charging modules uh, this also this one supports quick charge 3.0 and this one supports quick charge 2.0 but both are 18 out in and out so if you're using fast charging modules make sure to solder the batteries with high gauge wires so after you solder them with high gauge wires make sure to connect the positive of the battery to the positive of the module and negative of the battery to the negative of the module after you've connected the modules uh, in like 
the order that's written on here for example uh, on this module uh, this one is the positive and this one is the negative so uh, either way you connect it or on this side or on this side make sure to mind the polarity if you reverse the polarity then you would end up uh, with an, a non-working module uh, same goes with this one the positive uh, of this module is on this side and the negative of this module is on this side I'm gonna show you like you connect this end of the battery uh, this end of the battery to the positive of the module in this case this one and in this case it is this one so you connect these like this this one to these positive ones and then the negative uh, side of the battery the negative uh, terminal of the battery you connect the negative terminal of the battery to the negative uh, uh, of the module uh, on this one and if you're using something like this then this one uh, and on any module it is written on the PCB of the module uh, B plus is for the battery positive and B minus is for the battery negative so make sure to mind the polarity so after the soldering job you should know that you have to put them uh, some somewhere safe in an enclosure or something uh, maybe an old something an old lamp or something I just got that from uh, whatever wherever and you just put the batteries how many you want to so uh, put them in here uh, like the mo the batteries inside of it and the module over here and poke some holes with the soldering iron and make sure to tape that properly and then use the module in my case I used about 18 or 19 batteries because it's a fast charging module and in fast charging modules you should use at least 10 18 650 cells and then you're good to go because you're getting uh, fast charging input and output so uh, that should be good and make sure to be careful and safety first and I hope you like this video and learned something if so then like share and subscribe and uh, click on the notification bell and I'll guess I'll see you in the next one peace